Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Did you get on that? Yeah. I, I think I downloaded it. Uh, yeah. Ooh, first. Good. Beautiful. Ooh. Ooh. Furtada. Furtada. Okay, I need to... I'm going to write an email to the Ozer Lane support people. Get some please. <laughs> I mean, he has specific advantages, but yeah, even considering that, he's pretty quick. True. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not in the best state of mind right now, though. Yeah, I mean... There are multiple reasons why today will be remembered. Mm -hmm. There are. And that's the least there's, subtle I'm going to get about there's today's There's three, three to be specific. You, now it's up to you guys to find them. I'll, I'll make it four so that it like works with uh, like One Piece. So yeah, <laughs> there's four reasons that you guys need to find them. Okay. Did I have anything to do? No, I wasn't born yet, nor have I traveled back in time to stop it yet, and then realize that that chain of events needs to happen for the world that we know of to be created. So no, I haven't quite gotten to that point yet in my life. Why does my stupid fucking green screen not work? It's a new annoying thing every time. Can we fix it? Bop the building. Yes, we can. Hopefully. Okay. We heard enough of that song, we actually played the game. Yeah, sorry for the rushed, botched thing. I, like, since... <laughs> I have been constantly on since, um, like, 7.30 this morning. I have not, not been doing something since then. Uh, my class doesn't start till 11.30, but I need to get there at 9 so I can park not a mile away. So I just kind of, like, hang out and do homework or whatever, and then that class happens. I eat food. And then I have two classes back to back that total in runtime about like four, three and a half to four hours. And then I had a meeting for club, and now I am here. Uh, I had three pieces of cold bacon for dinner. Let's play Ace Attorney. <laughs> Don't worry, we can make your day more exhausting if you want. That's what I'm counting on. I don't like I can't tell if this is like automated or if this like because there's like an automated email response I got and then like there was also an email I got right after that like it, I don't know if it's like there's they have some Chinese guy on the other line that like immediately responded but it depends on what time it is there I guess no this dude they probably rotate them keep someone on the clock always it's it's Yostar it's Yostar Limited, dude. They're they're a big conglomerate. They own like three gacha games, and they're making the Neko Para gacha game that'll come out. Maybe. Who knows? I've never wanted to play a gacha game, but I'm curious on what the fuck the gameplay of that one's gonna be like. <laughs> I don't know. It's probably like I don't even know that it's like they said it was gonna be a gacha game, but it's made by the uh, Osir Lane people, so. Yeah. How the hell is how the hell is vanilla gonna fight? <laughs> I don't know, bro. I think I think we we might need to see the game. Oh, can you not? Sorry. I don't, uh, I'm not sure if it's just me, but I don't see it. No, that was me. I was on my way to do that, and then realized that I was streaming the wrong monitor, so I was uh, Tazon daying myself. Oh, I got you. Very well then, witness, please testify about this secret information. 
No. <laughs> she bag fucking did me. I didn't even read the dialogue fast enough. She... <laughs> it's a year off your life. Yeah. What? So, I mean, what even happened last time? That's I, a I mean, good question. Just... Like, when uh... the old bag was testifying, but, like... We're, she was kind of just going over old information, except, like, the same thing that happened in case three of the last game happened this time. Where no one else can wear the costume, Gnideka, besides, uh... Juan Carrado. Uh, Madangard, yeah. Let's just say fans of a certain social well, simulation function Juan will be Carrado happy with the upcoming direct. The costume. Right, there was a big deal about this wine glass that was found at the crime scene, but Adrian Andrews discovered the body and left it there, presumably in shock, that's what they're saying. Uh, this is the, or uh, face close to this is an emote, now I actually did what I said I was going to do, and then made the three emotes. <laughs> awesome. A direct, I have definitely not placed money on the idea that it will not occur during September. Hmm. Anyway, uh, Celeste Impacts uh, was Juan Carita's personal manager and Adrian Andrews' mentor, and she killed herself. And then Adrian almost killed herself. Uh, but she asked us pretty, pretty, please don't bring that up in court. <laughs> like that's ever going to happen? Yeah. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> I'm telling everybody. Um, turns out this was not the murder weapon. He was strangled first. Damn. And this was all right. But I think the latest thing was about the the glass of tomato juice and that. Yeah. So now I think Old Bag is talking about uh some new secret intel about who went into the victim's room. This is going to take your young the wind out of you, youngins. Dude, that's more uh because you see Happy the wind is like the breath, and the breath is like the spirit, so that's kind of more uh, evident. That's like that's what that's like them kind of offhandedly referencing the fact you can steal like life force and like lifespan with that gun. It's not the 911 special. How many times do I have to tell you that? Listen, guys, I say this with the deepest of reverence. And respect and somberness uh not a joke nothing like that we, we have only the highest uh you know respect for everything that happened reverence for the people who went hard terrible tragedy I everything like this with old bags everything life again. <clears throat> every, every, every proper emotion associated guys all comes with this and it ties it together happy 9-11 happy 9-11 <laughs> the saddest happy 9-11 I, 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 I didn't realize those events led to us having a 9-11 stream until like that was like just brought up yeah it's kind of funny I'm sure we're all capable of handling this really it's not like we're 10 years old <laughs> what the hell is it god damn it Steven <laughs> <laughs> Your Honor, I thought you'd find this hilarious. Did you know Adrian Andrews tried to kill herself? That's funny, right? <laughs> <laughs> then Adrian is like, but you said. Well, that one guard is one evil, evil man. He thought he could ruin poor Juan by causing a huge scandal. So to do that, he sent his own manager to get in close with Juan. I cannot condone such dirty tricks, so I took action. Oh, and this is top secret. You got that? Nobody else but you and me know yet, okay? Does she know? <laughs> nah. Who knows? The defendant was his manager? What a distasteful topic for this court. What? Nobody above, nobody's above gossip. And isn't there a saying, the truth is never pleasant? Never heard that one before. Wow. She's right. Then she must be the truth. <laughs> uh, Mr. Edgeworth, uh, what about this Adrian Andrews person? Well, we've looked into this matter and found that the truth the article proposes is in fact based on gossip. Huh, should this, uh, but should this 
But should this be true, then this proves that the defendant did bear ill will towards the victim. So this means I have to smash this rumor once and for all. Justice for all. Damn. Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. That's right. Title crawl starts. <laughs> uh, now then, Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ah, uh, be careful. The old bag seems rather excited right now. That's right. On guard is nothing but your average foul-blooded youth. <laughs> well, as the old saying goes, you gotta burn <coughs> the bags with fire. Time to fire Damn. up the afterburners and hit the highway to the danger zone. P keep it kicking into top gear. Maya, I'm coming to save you. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> what did I expect? Okay. Um. So, so the actual thing, like, Adrian Andrews was already Juan Carreta's manager. No, uh, Matt on guard's manager only. Well, she, well, she was, well, she was both. She was trying to get in with both, but then something happened. She was uh, presumably trying to get in with Juan Carreta because of Celeste Impacts' suicide note. Yeah, like the what, Celeste she, Impacts was Juan Carreta's old manager. That's correct. For, she used to kill herself. Yes. And then now Adrian Andrews, of her own volition, not because of Mad on Guard, is trying to get in with Juan so she can find the suicide note. So does that mean the only evidence we have that Juan Car that, that Mount on Guard didn't send her is the suicide note? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, but we might be getting a little ahead of the game. I actually don't remember a lot of this part. I remember the shit about the wine glass, but everything past that point, I do not remember. So I will not be a. Oh, well, we made a promise. We can't tell anyone. <laughs> <laughs> or else, I, 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 she threatened to kill promise. herself. Yeah, we cannot violate that. She, like, subtly, not so subtly, threatened to kill herself if she told the people about Your it. Your Honor, I want to remind you that this is not the 9 yeah, so 11 special, as cited by Attorney promise. Adam, the so awesome we, man. We're stuck. We can't do anything. Yeah. We're fine. This is not good. Hold it. You can't say something like that without proof. That's just slander. But it's true. That woman was getting intimate with poor Juan. <laughs> Look, it says so right here, doesn't it? Manager to the stars with Miss A.A. But the name of the magazine this came from is Gossip Land. What? Are you saying that gossip is all just a pack of lies? <laughs> what do you know? Thank you, Strummer. <laughs> I appreciate you. I will be contacting you about joining our PR team. Oh, a uh, quick note, guys. I'm wearing. I am wearing socks. You got. I'll say, yeah. You know, there's there's a pretty clear four colors this time, but red, white, one yellow, one color, black. one color is worth two. A different color is worth one, and then the other two are worth half a point. I already said my answer. What'd you say? Red, white, yellow, black. McDonald's, red, baby. White. Yellow, black, okay. I'm gonna go with... Uh... I'm gonna go St. Patrick's Day. We're gonna go green, orange, white, red. Green, orange, white, red, okay. Or it may change the red to yellow. Change the red to yellow. Okay. Gold. <laughs> yeah. For the gold, yeah, exactly. Red, white, blue, black. Uh, how American. Alright, I'll give a... Because because I'm curious to break down the winner right now. Because we're, 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 I think we're pretty close to a tie. So you guys have another uh, uh, 10 seconds. Uh, 8, 7, 6, 5, uh, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Okay. Martin, can you tell me yours again? Um... Red, white, yellow, black. Because red, I... blue, black. Red, white, yellow, black. I think. Oh, it was a close one. There is. Oh, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna have to give this one to Stephen. Hmm. Uh. 
Martin, you're close. There's something I thought was black, but it's more of a it's more of the darkest shade of na of midnight blue. <laughs> like a, uh, How midnight daring! Dark navy blue. We got a we got a, a it's they're pretty much brown socks, but we got a little red band right there. And then right here, there's a little bit of navy blue with more white and with white and then more red. Man, that's just tan. <laughs> Brown, tan, whatever. I would have accepted either. But uh, Steven did guess red, white. He got red, white, and blue are all right. So he was only off by one color. And the half a point, double point thing didn't impact anything? Or actually, uh, actually, no, hold, hold on. Actually, sorry, <sighs> Steven. I'm sorry, but I have to I have to actually take that point away from you. I see now that Doge said brown and brown was the color that was worth two points. Uh Doge wins, right? Two points. Doge actually hold on two. He got two plus one. You got three points. What did Steven get? Steven got the one pointer. Oh, actually I think that was a hold on the Steven got the one pointer. And then the two half points. So he had two points. Doge got three points. Okay. So, ooh, damn. Sorry, Steven, but it looks like Doge actually stole that from you. Uh, <laughs> real, real checkerboard. That's pretty cool. Uh, did I say last time that the winner gets to ask me to do something, or that only if they get it right? Uh, I think it was only if they got it 100% correct. But yeah, obviously okay. you can change that. Uh... Doge, if you can send me evidence that I said the winner gets me to, gets to tell me to do anything, uh, and I'll do it if I want to do it, uh, I'll let you do it. Otherwise, I'm going to assume I said only if you get it right. But if you can prove to me that I had said otherwise, probably easy enough to find. <laughs> Real? Did you say that? Uh, Although he has, it was in picto chat. <laughs> he has this thing where I I hate that I know this. Uh, he switches the words "zerk off" and "play Monster Hunter" or no Monster Hunter, uh, like in Dragon Quest. So if he says he's gonna go play Dragon Quest, he's gonna whack off. And if he said jack off, then that means he's gonna go play Dragon Quest. So if he said he's gonna whack off, he's that's. Uh, not correct. Okay. Again, that's trivia I really wish I didn't know, but I know. <laughs> True, I guess we are all still waiting on me. Yes. I suppose you'll next swear to me that the news is 100% truth. <laughs> um... Honestly, Sonny, you can't discriminate between news and gossip. Uh, yes, discrimination <laughs> is bad, <laughs> Mister. That's a screeny right there. Discriminate? When did I do anything like that? <laughs> anyway, on God will never get me to say touche. <laughs> oh, that's not what I wanted. Hold it. A scandal. What do you mean by that? You're a dim-witted one, aren't you? I can't believe you don't know what a scandal is. <laughs> Honestly, what are they teaching kids in middle school these days? <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. I, I wasn't asking what the word scandal means. I mean, even I know that much. Well, then, uh, then, God, God, you'd own a monopoly in popularity? Hold it. You don't have any proof that Mr. Ungar did any such thing. You must be suffering from shock. The shock of hearing the truth. <laughs> And now, since you're in so much shock, you can't do anything right. Please stop saying shock. It reminds me of Von Karma. But you're right. I can't do anything. Or do I wish I could do something about you? Alrighty then, Sonny. Show me what you got. I love her revolver ray gun. It's so cool. It is awesome. Can you show me the proof that Ungar didn't bear any ill will towards Juan? Can I don't think that there's no way we can prove that because it's not true. I mean, again, we can get ahead of the game and leak the suicide report. But I don't know if there's <laughs> one hey, it's really funny, guys. 
<laughs> yeah, I don't. <laughs> Do you guys think we have anything? Uh, my money is on hell no. Uh, uh, his own purchase is his own profile, his personality. He, he would never do that. It says in the profile that he's rivals with him. That's me. He hates him. Powerful foes. Kill it's her. She's the reason why. I mean, Celeste Impacts could be. Like, it's a bit of a stretch to be like, well, Celeste Impacts was Andrew, Adrian Andrews' manager, and also was a manager for Juan Carida. But, like. I think this is a red herring, but I don't know that for sure. No, it. And again, I mean, we do it not have any like you health. Have anything to <laughs> Uh, so, so we, we can press parade around maybe and then uh, come back when you two. We'll circle back. Yeah. <laughs> genuinely, that becomes the right <laughs> move. It never was in the first game, but it's genuinely not a bad idea in this one where they try more deliberately to trip you up with fake evidence prompts. I don't have yeah. anything to offer. We're circling back. See? Just as I thought. <laughs> and you weren't lecturing me about saying- Oh that. my <laughs> god, guys. I oh. got it back. Thank oh. god. Hey, oh my god. Your Azure Lane account? Oh, I got my Azure Lane account, guys. Oh my Today god. Today will go down in history as the greatest day ever. <laughs> this is the- this A is day the, that we'll never forget. This is, it it was the worst of times, and it was the best of times. Oh man, I both- Dude, we, 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 like, dude, oh my, that, that makes, okay, there you go. Those are two important things out of the four that happened today, this day in history that you guys need to find out. One is I lost access to my Arousal Lane account. The other one is I got it back. You probably know what one of the other ones is. You guys need to find out the fourth one. And then you'll, with those, you'll be able to create the coordinates to the One Piece. And the One Piece is my address. <laughs> well, way to just say it, oh, that goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so it's so beautiful i got it back oh my god i'm so good at this game oh wow oh i was so stressed oh my god so much better so much better Wow! You just give me free press to say whatever I want and whatever I want, silly boy. <laughs> me and my big mouth. That's the way the cookie crumbles. For you, anyway. <laughs> I'll crumble you, you witch. I am binding my Twitter account. I am binding. I am binding every account and screenshotting my like user ID now. <laughs> Hold it. So what do you mean by, I took action? Like I already told you, I was lying in wait to close the crime scene. <laughs> Once that slimy woman came out of Juan's room, I was going to capture her and teach her a good lesson. Something you young ends need. <laughs> Were you going to kidnap and kill her? <laughs> Maybe. You'll never know. You were going to teach her a good lesson? I was going to make her eat the damning beams of my ray gun. You were going to kill her? Like, real slow? Like this. No, no, stop. Shit, so one year before the universe ends, the judge is going to die? <laughs> I like the idea that he told one her to stop. One minus infinity is still infinity, boy. <laughs> that, that is the truth, but the reason I told her to stop is because I will overload her ray gun, because it takes away a percentage of your life. It doesn't oh. take away a set amount, so... I thought it was one year. she does it... Uh, it was lots of things. It takes away a percentage, but everyone has the same base lifespan. All humans have the same base lifespan. So it takes away that that percentage of that is one year for all you guys. Right. It's of your, like, so it's of it, your starting <laughs> lifespan. Okay, so... Right, and then it adds the remainder of that human life to old bag's life. I get it. <laughs> Little did the judge know I was going to overcharge the ray gun with its infinite energy if I was to lose. <laughs> Just as planned. <laughs> Infinite energy. <laughs> it's the power of the sun in the palm of my hand. <laughs> 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 oh, 
Well, it was too bad that woman didn't come through the door that night. <laughs> Hold it. Wait. What? I'm a busy woman. Tea time with the kids is over. Secret information that no one else knows yet. If that's true, then how do you know this secret information? Well, that's because I'm a pro. Yeah, yes, that's it. <laughs> it. It's a secret. Even you, even you drilled a hole into my brain. You'll never find out. How in the world did that old bat oh. get such a secret piece of information? Uh, let's like, let's be like. What do you recognize this suicide report? <laughs> hey, did you know that Adrian Andrews killed herself? That's secret information that I'm in possession of. Now that I've opened up to you, you can tell me how you got your secret information. <laughs> did you know? Adrian Andrews. <laughs> <laughs> did you know Ace Attorney? <laughs> did you know Ace Attorney Adrian Andrews tried to kill herself? <laughs> Neat, right? <laughs> <laughs> Follow twitch.tv slash Adam, Adam, Adam for more deep dives into the Ace Attorney lore. I know I keep saying I'm going to make Did You Know Ace Attorney, but I'm so motherfucking busy all the goddamn time. It is, it, get, listen guys, it is coming, it is coming, just don't worry. I'll say that's the reward for finishing Justice for All, is I will finally get off my ass and make <laughs> Did You Know Ace Attorney. He will, he will come. Just like the reward for finishing Trials and Tribulations is the Damon Gant fan cave. <laughs> Which I have started. By the way, okay. it was a while ago. I probably gotta like mess with it a little bit, but I have started to work on that. Yeah, that's what we like to see. What do you guys think? Uh, I want to. I'll present. The, I think we should present the suicide report here. It'd be like a funny gotcha. It's not so secret now, is it? Yeah, <laughs> that's not the information that we're talking about. <laughs> So no one else is supposed to know this secret information, correct? If that's true, then why do you know it, Miss Old Bag? Why do you look at me like that? Stop it! <laughs> Witness... Witness my balls on your chin. I hate to say it, but this is how you came to acquire that secret info, isn't it? Oh wait, actually, Ow. we have actual proof here, damn it. We do? <laughs> now present the suicide report. Yeah, Wait, what are you talking too, about? We're, we're in too deep. We're in too deep. We gotta do it now. <laughs> but like... Thought I could coax it. Take that! <laughs> you call that proof? Looks more like the proof of spite towards the witness. Now you're projecting a little bit. Also, you didn't even let me tell you what it is yet. It's really cool. If you have nothing to back up your claims, and they are no more valid than gossip. Let me pause, let me pause, let me pause. Objection uh, sustained. I find Matt Elmgard is guilty, guilty, And then Maya died. And Maya died. <laughs> we Beautiful. Were being silly with suicide. <laughs> being silly with suicide. That would have been a better episode title. I did make a suicide joke, though. True. Well, that plan... Never mind, it's too soon. Oh. <laughs> But what were you talking about, Martin? So, I mean, we have the thing from a lot of heart, right? Like the photo? the Not the camera, but like the, the photo. Uh, the photo she took? Yeah. Uh, no. We don't have any picture of the bottom. What's the took. first photo? This one? Or, oh. This is a promo poster okay. for the Nickel Samurai. This one is the layout. Okay, so we still don't have a uh, lot of hearts camera though. We just have, we just know it exists. Yeah, and what was in it? I mean, it's not too much of a stretch to be like, oh, you got the information from from Lotta. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you guys in that I don't know what's like, what, what, what secret info are we talking about right now? The fact that Adrian, like the stuff talked about here right oh okay but this article either wasn't out yet or like old bag should not know this no she got it from a lot of them is sure. this a new article i think so but without her seeing this i forget how that's 
relevant or established, but I I don't. She threatened Lotta to spill it till she was about to kill her, and then she yeah, because Lotta it. read that article. That's why she wanted a picture, right? Yeah. That's all I... That's what I mean. We could just present Lotta's profile. We could. I think the what well, we're it, describing it, is is this. Yeah. Right? I mean, the camera, the profile, or. What do you guys want to go with? Um. I don't know. Uh. What what, what are our main options here? I think where oh, Phoenix is going is article. there's a way that, like, without seeing this, you could have came into the information, like, how you knew that Adrian Andrews was going to be in Juan Carita's room. Which, this isn't the article that was in this camera. It was Lada's own thing that she was writing, which has uh, presumably oh. more information. I think. That's what she said. Yeah, so, so I, I, that's why I'm saying the camera. Okay. Or, or, or Lada herself, but, like... Oh, maybe either would have worked because he shows her face. Yeah. The investigative photographer. Big quotes there. Lot of heart. <laughs> oh, I remember that mischievous girl. She reported that she had lost a certain note she had written to herself. Uh, she reported such a thing? On that piece of paper, she had written down some of her impressions about the relationship between the victim and Miss Andrews. What? Outrageous ideas, you say? Uh, no, no, no. I said impressions. Then, then, then everything written on this piece of paper is completely meaningless? Aha! That's it. That's the note. Ah! ah! <laughs> no, you see, this is something completely different. This is my top secret list of groceries to buy. <laughs> well, then you are the one who took Miss Hart's note. Well, I'm just a huge fan of Juan's, that's why. That infamous puffy-haired whippersnapper. She's working with that evil on guard. She said it herself. On guard, I'm his sidekick. <laughs> she she said was that. so happy, smiling like a silly duck. I was only checking what she had written. <laughs> Did you believe me, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> I was only trying to get out and help out the an like the angel I am. It's only one little piece of paper. I've never taken anything else before. Oh, this is a new one. Oh, never mind. It's still dead shit. But the price is lower than any competitor. Oh, well, I mean, it's, it's such a good deal. We'd be losing money if we didn't. Yeah, we'd, be, we'd pretty much oh, be losing money. Dot, dot, um... <laughs> Doge height. <laughs> I know you're a robot, but in the off chance that you're just a guy copying and pasting and you still have the tab open, we will treat you nicer than any other <laughs> case in point. Cheer one high. I want to offer promotion of your channel. So, viewers, you know, followers, if like, views, if you hang bots, out with us, the and price is make lower than any competitor. Jokes, the quality is guaranteed to maybe be the I'll, best. Maybe I'll buy some. Auto on. Just saying. Incredibly flexible and True. convenient <laughs> order management my back, I'll panel. scratch yours. That's all I'm saying. Quid quo pro. Yeah, I'll fall for your scam if you just hang out and fall for my charms. <laughs> that offer goes really... to any scam company, by the way. <laughs> True. You should really come to a supply of cheese match with your vintage wine. <laughs> I was only a piece of paper. I suppose we can overlook it just Objection. The Declaration you of Independence most... is just a piece of paper. You are the most lenient judge I think anyone's ever seen. That is true. Oh, wow. But that's one me cases genuinely. <clears throat> Remember when you got declared guilty, Edgeworm, and then he overturned that because Larry said hi? <laughs> I'm just glad we don't get assigned to the hot. Comma, everything is in us. your hands. Turn it on, off. Customize. Yeah, and that other judge Go is like to way more Canadian. Com. Honestly. She looks like she's really sorry. Or sorry. Should I forgive her? <sighs> nah, dude, she already stole who knows how many years of our life. We gotta pile on the pressure. 
We, we, we never forgive. A, we ne dude, we never forgive, never forget 9-11. Never forget 9-11. Old bag. She's, she's the hat, dude. <clears throat> if I let up on her now, she'll get away. I have to find some way to inflict a deafening blow to the prosecution. Witness. You said that the only thing you stole was that note. Is this correct? Hi, I want to offer destruction Stop. of your channel, well, you viewers, followers, <laughs> views, chatbots. I'm sorry, one second. The price is higher than any competitor. Oh, the it. quality is guaranteed <laughs> to be the worst. <laughs> Auto off. Incredibly terrible and mismanaged order mismanagement uh, panel. That's funny. I've saved this piece of paper from that terrible, lonely trash can. That's all. You're lying, damn it, and I can prove it. Are you putting my credibility under scrutiny again? The scrutiny. Mrs. Old Bag. Getting real quick at that. I don't believe that the note is the only thing you stole that night. You stole my heart. I stole my attorney's badge. <laughs> you, <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> we just don't have it! <laughs> you stole the heart. Dude, that, that is his heart, the attorney's badge. This is us giving this is us giving her our heart, our most sacred heart. <laughs> You also stole the rope that Adrian Andrews was going to use to hang herself. Oh yeah, guys, did you know that Adrian Andrews was going to kill herself? That's not a lot of people know that one. Yeah, oh, that one flies into the radar. I think I know it. But do you get? Aha! He said it. it. Means I get to click E. Take that, Mrs. Old Bag. That note was with a camera inside its case, wasn't it? A camera. Yesterday, Lotta Hart was raising a huge stink over her- <laughs> The big stink is back. <laughs> over her camera. She kept saying something oh, like, My sweet $1,600 camera disappeared on me. What, why, 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 witness? What is it, Gramps? <laughs> if you have the note, then it is only logical that you have the camera, too. I like the, uh, what if, like, she's not, what if, so what if with Old Bag, so, like, she steals people's lifespan, well, she's not actually that old, but, like, whenever she gets more ah. lifespan, she gets older, too. Oh. So, it's like, <laughs> she appears, she appears older. But she's so, it's not. like, but she's not older, so, like, she's still, like, 20 on the inside, but she's actually, like, she's visibly ancient, and her lifespan is ancient, so she will live to be however old she looks right now. Interesting. She's only stolen around like yeah, it's let's say like seventy to eighty years. Yeah, but that's and, on top of her already like. Let's let's how say, does so... that explain her presence during Grog v Og? Oh, mm. she was there during Grog v Og. Maybe. <laughs> hmm. Time's not linear. <laughs> not time travel. She's from the, she lives long enough to where the time machine is invented to go back in time. Okay. And steal more lives. So she's from the future, thus the getup. Right, that's real. She went back yeah. to Grog v. Og and has lived since then by constantly stealing people's life. Oh, there we go. Boom. See, follow for more Ace deep dives into Ace Attorney lore and trivia. Looks like you found me out again, Spain. Is this the camera you're looking for? Uh, that's the oddly phallic camera. <laughs> what? All cameras look like that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's oddly phallic. It is oddly phallic. Like, wh why, why is it like... Bro, got some it's two like, rectangles perpendicular mm, to each other. But it's round. Dude, listen. Listen. They don't need to... She doesn't need to keep that long-ass, like, lens on it in that case. There's no reason for it to be, like, shaped yeah, like that. Yeah, it's... And it's, like, the texture of... I'm just saying it's... And like the small little lens, like opening, I'm mean, is oddly found. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit, that's that's true. That sounds I'm, rather gay to me. No, Are you gay? no, no. Look, Miss Redworth, guys, no. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I look like this, I'm still a person, you know. I still eat meals like you. I still fall in love. And I still borrow things from people. I think your definition of borrow is a little off. I saw that woman's business card, and when I noticed it said Slime Slime Pack Celebrity Photographer Extraordinaire, 
Well, when I saw that, I had to know what sort of picture she'd taken. Wait, she described herself as slime ball? Well, no, no, she described the celebrity she's taking pictures of as slime balls. Oh, okay, that makes so sense. Slime ball celebrity. Oh, I see. I thought she was the slime bag for celebrity photographer. Mm -mm. Okay, got it, got it. I'm a professional security guard. It's my business to know these things. Bailiff, check this camera's photos. Hurry. We must examine them at once. We joke about the Mr. Edgeworth guys, but every single peep, like person in the gallery looks like a dude. Exactly. But that's because they're true. They are the truth. Yeah. That is Ace Attorney lore. Yeah. Uh, well, Mr. Don't Edgeworth, make what jokes. do we, we just have? The truth. It's true. Exactly. Well, there's conveniently only one photo that seems to be relevant to this case. Fuck, there's not five pages of photos. <laughs> This. Not this time, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> Please present it to the court. Oh, come on. <laughs> Beautiful. This this is the Nickel Samurai? See, I told you, that's the guy I saw. Mm, which proves that the witness is not lying earlier about this matter. Objection. Yes, yeah, she was. She said he was wearing his racing jacket. <laughs> what does all this mean, Mr. Edgeworth? Well, this photo itself does not prove that the person is the defendant. However, in his own confession, Mr. On God clearly stated that at the time of the murder, he was still in his Nicol Samarone costume. Objection. Calling it a confession is a little much. That's that. If there was a jury, they would be swayed by that. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if that if that's, that is the case, then this nickel samurai is <clears throat> the defendant. Objection! Is it possible that there's more than one costume? <laughs> uh, how did it come to this? I think this brings us to the end. We have examined every piece of evidence thoroughly. Adrian Andrew killed herself. <laughs> <laughs> <Final. laughs> That's our trump card. That's the... <laughs> Your Honor, I've been neglected in presenting this because of a promise to a uh, person that I know that I think might be the murderer. Adrian Andrews killed herself. No, tried to kill herself. <laughs> well, she's gonna now. Now that she, now that I said it, but yeah. Like... Oh, but she tried I'm to taking before. her down with me and my uh, oh, I, I know, oh my oh my god that and changes that, everything oh god. and the is muted I am oh sorry god. oh my god <laughs> well, well final comment Mr. Rat then the court will consider them before we close <laughs> Do you agree? <laughs> Why would you, you ever prompt us with that game? Do you agree that this photo is decisive evidence against your client? Can we save the game, please? <laughs> yes, sir, of I course. Was, like, <laughs> Thank you for asking. That's amazing character development. Why Why would they ever prompt us with something so obviously wrong? <laughs> <laughs> it's a good question. Maybe if this photo really is decisive, then we're done for. Oh, shit. Hold on. I figured out why it's lucky. There we go. Now my whole head is in the thing. But if I raise an objection here and blow it, then I'd put Maya's life in jeopardy. I can't make a mistake here. There's only one road out of this mess. This photo that Lada took. There's... Oh, there's nothing wrong with it. Easy peasy. That that's that's what that's my on guard. They you know There's nothing strange with this photo. <laughs> I've done nothing to alter this picture either. In case you're wondering, right? How how could you have He is muted. He is muted, but how will he do funny voice if he is muted? 
Maybe he did actually say BRB and we did not hear him. Mm. Maybe. My computer is broken. You hit me with this stone. You hit me with this stone. <laughs> <laughs> That's a video I haven't thought about in a while, but I still love it. It's a good hit me with this stone. Hit me with I think, I, I think me and Adam were just talking about it the other day, actually. So, he disconnected. I actually thought about it. He disconnected. He disconnected. I love, love that uh, song. That song, that video. I love that song. <laughs> All right. It's a good. It's music ah. to my ears. It is. It is music, truly, truly. Someone music. should like auto tune oh, yeah. it. It, it made with this. Don't these go Nick? They like it. <laughs> they could. They, we have a banger waiting to happen. Can I can I get an AI voice changer? That is the he hit me with the stone kid. <laughs> so come on board and bring along all your hopes and dreams. <laughs> it was AI voice of him to do the covers for all these fucking songs or whatever. Donald Donald Trump, the Donald king of the Trump presidents. <laughs> That video is really good. Uh, I see, and it seems the defense will rest on this matter. That we will. Uh, in that case, there is no reason to further prolong this trial. The lurk check is the lurk check. Nothing more, nothing less. It cannot be altered, yeah. changed, or made quieter or louder. Yeah, that's the lurk check. It's already at peak volume. Mm. Is this really all right with you, Phoenix? Well, there's nothing wrong with this photo that I can... Try again. Take another good look at it. And if you still don't see anything, do something. Anything to prolong the trial. Uh, yes, Chief. Chief. Thank you. Thank you, Mia Ex Machina. <laughs> Wait, Your Honor. <laughs> we still what might get a penalty anyway. Right. I'm about to enter my verdict. Please address me with your comment afterwards. Um, no, I I'm sorry, but this can't wait. Oh, let me guess. You're going to point out some peculiarity with the filter. The lurk check oh, was Oh, damn, he got us. He read us. Oh, shit. <laughs> the lurk check was the crazy ass <laughs> exponentially increasing noise that Ivan's microphone made when we were playing Doki Doki one time. That was like. That was so weird because so quickly you became like an infinite sound, but like I felt every second of like it was such a perfect like acceleration of the sound, like it was insane. It was fucking nuts. It's, it's Ivan forgot that he had his particle accelerator strapped to his headset. <laughs> you know? Yeah. <clears throat> what was that? I wonder if I can. <laughs> no. No. It's not. It's not, not going to do it again. But I'm. I'm going to do. I'm going to follow the steps I did to have that happen real quick. So what? Alert check. Properties. Well, all I did was just listen to my microphone. <laughs> Hello. No, it's not. Uh, I can just hear my voice now. That's Damn. sad. I can't. And I all can't its check. glory. I do know what the closest thing we have to a lurk check easily at our uh, disposal is, though. Uh, I got one. What do you got? The uh, duck calls. I've got Gumshoe's duck cough. I'm trying to find uh close in, in, in a similar uh okay sorry so uh no not the duck okay you said duck I thought of something else the duck calls is a good option but I was thinking this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Jesus Christ it's so loud not to, to any day but today okay wait <laughs> wait what did you oh as soon as you said <laughs> this don't you hit me with one. Um, what did you, oh, damn. what did, were you referring to? I, I thought you'd clicked that. Doge clicked it. I, I, I well, he I was referring it. to this. Oh, both happened at the same time. <laughs> yeah. How, can, can someone like clip it or something so I can hear it? I didn't like, I, 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 I didn't, un I didn't unmute the stream quick enough to hear the lurk check. So I want to hear it. Doge clip it, please, please. Why didn't you say so earlier? There's a gunshot mixed in there somewhere. It's <laughs> really funny. Ow! Oh! Ow! Oh my god! Hit your knee. Holy shit! No, I like. How? I like. I, 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 I took a knee. Uh, I, I knelt down so I could reach over into my closet without taking off. Okay. I'm like sitting in front. I'm trying to reach into my closet without taking off my headphones. Okay, here we go. I was able to do it. 
Ah, uh, what do we got? Let's go with this one. <laughs> there we go. Now, now we've played all. Now we've played the trinity of of lurk checks. That being the lurk. That being <laughs> lurk, the lurk, 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 lurk check. The lurk check. Uh, lurk check the op and lurk check the uh, duck, duck check. <laughs> Don't worry, boys. I got it. Oh, excellent. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Let me hear that. I want to hear this. There's there's something strange with this photo. Oh, I knew it was coming, right? <laughs> that lurk check is awesome. <laughs> I remember, I remember what was happening. Like I had to like fucking like, I just remember like throwing off my headphones <laughs> and scrambling to mute it. It's so fucking awful. Your Monica opened a black hole. <laughs> Sorry. God, that was so fucking funny when that happened. Oh my god. And then it just like it just did it. And, like I didn't do anything to fix it. And then my microphone just never did it again. Like it'd be one thing if like I fixed the issue, because then there wouldn't be an issue, but it just did that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, your thoughts, Mr. Edgeworth? Well, I think we can all agree that there's nothing strange with this photo. There's no way for the defense to debunk this photo, even with a bunker buster. Is that a fucking worms item? <laughs> Debunk with a bunker buster? Is that what you're planning to do, Mr. Rat? Um, anyway, <laughs> please look at this photo one more time. If you really believe you can honestly find something wrong with this photo, then you should only need one chance, correct? This doesn't scare me. It never does. I only ever have one chance. The dramatic effect of this is ruined completely. <laughs> But I have to find something wrong with this photo. <coughs> I can't let this chance go by. Where in the heck did you take this photo from anyway? It's all out of focus. Why can't you take a good shot? Especially when it counts. This camera's like a million dollars. Yeah, it's a million dollars that means you need to adjust with the focus to make it, like, uh, <laughs> minutely <laughs> perfect. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Uh, well, now then, let's hear your objection. What about this photo is strange? I haven't uh, saved it. Uh, oh, we just get the point. Yeah. I'm. I'm. I'm gonna. I. I think I. I have my theory, Martin. What's your theory? You have one. I mean, there are a few things it could be. I think. I, I, can we see the photo of the nickel samurai again? No. No? No. I, I <laughs> would if I could, but uh, no. Google, show me a picture of the Nickel Samurai. <laughs> What's your I... question? Because I remember what it looks like. Well, I feel like the... Well, first off, my my, my immediate reaction was what if, what if it's just a different room number, but the game literally, like, we can't see that detail at all. But it'd just be really funny if the game did say that it was a different room number, even yeah. though we can't see the room number, so it's impossible for us to prove. Yeah, nor did we ever see the room number in the first place. Well, yeah, we d didn't, but, like, so, so Martin, to, to counter your to counter your point, my, my objection is that there's all, like, the flowers and stuff, and wasn't that, like, in front of the other... Like well, this is coming out of the correct. victim's room. That is correct. Yeah. I think the bear is what's wrong. What bear? Like. Oh, was, oh, dude, there's one of the hidden bears. Oh, we have to point out that where the hidden bear is, but I don't see any of them. Steven says it's in the top left, but I don't believe him. I think that there's one hidden in some place where you don't even want to know. Oh, but where I was going is that I, 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 I thought. For some unknown reason, I thought that the like the the gear metal arm was on the other side, and that like the the, uh, arm, the left and right arms were swapped or something on the costume. Nah, the gear arm I think is the right arm, and that's yeah. correct. That's why I wanted to double check just because I thought. Like... Oh, Doge found a hidden Goku. That's very impressive. Most people don't. Oh wow! I didn't even see it. Yeah. I've, I've got like a Goku radar. <laughs> Godar, if you will, <laughs> which is almost <laughs> the name of the next prosecutor. <laughs> That's funny. Not really. <laughs> Godar? It's one letter off. Two. 
a, a few. <laughs> Two. Eh, it's a stretch. <laughs> yeah, especially because I'm combining the words anyway, but... Any actual theories? Uh, I've, I've got mine. Are, are, are you all dry, Martin? No, yeah, let's let's try something with the, the flowers being out front, because... I'll say, uh, I'll, I'll say if, 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 if I am to recall correctly, uh, I don't know, I don't know if they're, uh, I don't know if that's what it's supposed to look like, or if, if we're getting, like, a callback to our other case where we had this stuff play out, but it kind of looks like his, like, veins are long. Mm. Okay. So, remember that, remember how they did that in the other case? Yeah. 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 Oh, that's, most of a, that's, that's what stuck out to me when I first saw it. I don't know whether or not I mean, because we can't like see that. his other hand, it's impossible to tell if he had the, the knife on him. Well, he would be exiting the victim's room, so he wouldn't have it even if he brought it. Yeah, okay, so this is him exiting. Yeah, exiting the victim's room, which had the flowers and bears if there were any in this picture. Yeah. And then it has to be detailed with the Nicholas Samurai himself, I feel. Where, like, the costume just must not have looked exactly like that. There must be something that, like, is different about it. Hey, bro, if there's someone that's, like, shorter than him in that outfit, those legs is gonna be dragging. Fair. Wanna go with that? Yeah, let's go with that first. Oh, my Take own. that. My I would like to direct the court's attention to this one area right here. Uh, what what are you pointing to? His ankles? I believe that they are properly covered as according to Sharia law. Of course, and if you could see this person's ankles, that would be one thing. However, you can't. And what does that mean? Uh, one dead, currently. The costume person in this photo could not have been Mr. On Guard. What is the meaning of this? Still Samurai Banger incoming. Well, I wonder if you'd like to care to elaborate. With actual facts, that is. Let's take a look at the Nickel Samurai's poster. Yeah, I wish Thanks I could have pulled this up. That would have really helped. Yeah, I wish. <laughs> <laughs> Please pay particular attention to the area around the bottom of his Japanese pants. His socks. You can see his socks. For free. Just like, just like mine. <laughs> For free. Exactly. <laughs> However, in this photo... The Nickel Samurai is clearly holding his hakama up just to walk. There's only one explanation for this. The person inside this costume is clearly much shorter than the defendant. That's Which means it I'm could saying. have been one of the Mr. Edgeworth guys. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I think I've turned things around and kept them busy for a while. That's curious. Huh? What is? Edgeworth is usually is unusually calm today. That's true. It's almost like this has happened before. <laughs> he's just letting the trial run itself, uh, itself, as though he's only going along for the ride. Yeah, I wish I could have his attitude. My, you know, gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> along for the ride? What do you mean by that? He should help me. Her life's at stake. Uh, I can only guess that perhaps he doesn't feel under attack at all. He doesn't feel under attack. Then I haven't damaged his case at all. Mr. Edgeworth, where does this leave us? If this person in this photo is not Matt on oh guard, then everything the prosecution tried to prove has become meaningless. They all went silent for him. Like, the judge didn't even have to tell them to not do it. <laughs> uh, uh, Mr. Edgeworth, guys, dare not speak when Mr. Edgeworth would speak. Where is all this respect coming from? Because <laughs> <laughs> he's a badass now or something. <laughs> Listen, they, they dare not talk over him. As soon as the moment he finishes talking, they'll start cheering. But <laughs> and chiming in. Talk, and... talk yeah. over him, they would not. Hmm. I figured it would come to this. What? Right. I have something I want to ask you. I think you've proven that the person inside this costume is not Matt on guard. In that case, 
Who is this a photo of? Doesn't matter in the slightest. Yes, it always does. You always have to prove the murderer. Oh, shit, you're right. Who is the person wearing the Nickel Samurai costume? <laughs> Don't stress out over this, Phoenix. It's very simple. What you, sh what you should focus be focused on is Edgeworth's attitude, don't you think? Yeah. Why is he so calm? Uh, Mr. Rat, let's hear your thoughts. Uh, who is the person in this photograph? Damn it, they don't show height numbers. <laughs> no. Okay. Hey, uh, hey it's, it's shorter than him, so we know it's a woman. Wendy Oldbeck. True. <laughs> Pearl yeah. is much shorter. Yeah, that would work. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. It is very true. Finally. <laughs> it was Francisca Von Karma. <laughs> it was all set up. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> the Von Karma did it again. <laughs> <laughs> the Sorry only way she could defeat me is by committing the perfect crime. <laughs> really, do we not have the profile for D Killer? <laughs> uh, no. Sad. I mean, I know we we haven't even really officially met him technically because there's no way Phoenix could possibly realize it was the bellboy. Yeah, if you wanted to present D Killer, I guess this would be the closest you could get. But even though uh, that's not who I was thinking of. The bitch that tried to kill herself. Yeah, I was gonna say, it has to be Adrian. <laughs> yeah, this one time. at least succeeded, dumb bitch. Take that! <laughs> Adrian Andrews? If you want to know who that nickel samurai is, it's none other than this woman. And why would you say it must be Mrs. Andrews? What's the What in the world points you to her? For starters, she's short. Oh, <laughs> damn! Oh my god! Dude, he said it! And she can freely move in and out of Mr. On Guard's room. Finally, she had dinner with Mr. On Guard that night. How does that all add up? It means that it makes it very easy for her to get a certain item. A certain knife with Mr. On Guard's fingerprints all over it. Uh, the knife that was used as a murder weapon? Well, why don't you just say what it is you want, Ryan? I have to do this now. <coughs> this is my last chance to turn things around. The defense moves to indict Mrs. Andrews in the murder of Juan Carita. It was Mrs. Andrews who tried to frame the defendant for the crime. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Order, order, order. It looks like this trial has hit a most unexpected development. Mr. Edgeworth? Yes, you are. This court is issuing a subpoena for Miss Adrian Andrews. Uh, a verdict cannot be passed without first hearing her testimony. All right, this is it. Uh, this is kind of bad for us. Huh? What do you mean? If Adrian Andrews is summoned to the court as a witness, it means that the trial will go on for another day. One more day. <laughs> if I don't get a verdict today, then Maya... Now then, we shall set Miss Andrews' testimony for tomorrow. What am I supposed to do? The judge is about to adjourn the court. Damn, uh, I can wait. We, we wait. We wait and see. She can survive without water for three days, you know? That's true. I have to do something. Uh, she's got alcohol, but isn't that, like, dehydrating? It has water in it. I mean... Yeah, she'll probably, I think. Men are alcohol and no water. It's not like it's salt water. Yeah, she's got, like, wine. Yeah. That's an interesting question. I wonder if that would... Uh, that is, I, I, I wonder that. that chances, yeah. Uh -huh. But I, I don't know. So, I, look, I have to do something. The trial must go on. I don't have anything left. No evidence. No nothing. Uh, oh. I abhor wasting such valuable time. Edgeworth? 
Your Honor, I request that you please continue with today's trial. But, but... We cannot continue due to this unexpected development. <laughs> unexpected development? I think you underestimate me, Your Honor. <laughs> what do you mean by that? <laughs> He's so cool now. <laughs> <laughs> that Mr. Phoenix Wright would slave his way into subpoenaing Mr. Adrian Andrews is all. Happening according to plan. Even if Wright is a bit slow to catch on. Th what? What? Uh, what? <laughs> Damn. What do you mean, plan? I've never made a plan. Uh, uh, what is the meaning of your statement, Mr. Edgeworth? Mr. Adrian Andrews is currently waiting in the prosecution's lobby. The only time I've ever made up a plan was to totally fabricate evidence law. <laughs> the only time I've ever made a plan, and it was really stupid, but it worked. And I vowed from that day never to make up another plan. I work so much better just, you know... There are no rules. Well, she is the next witness. <laughs> everything... Everything was planned out in advance by that man. Somehow I knew there was, there was no way Edgeworth would be overlook Miss Andrews. How could uh, he no. possibly have figured out that someone who discovered the body could be a witness in today's trial? He's so... <laughs> he's such a genius. <laughs> he's such a genius. <laughs> Oh my god. How could he possibly have predicted this? Oh my god. How could I have possibly predicted that you would purposely fail at every single other answer? <laughs> hey buddy, is so... purposely is not 100% accurate. <laughs> <laughs> I know you perhaps better than you know yourself, Mr. Wright. <laughs> Don't feel the fanfiction, edgeworm. <laughs> Uh, it looks like this battle is far from over. Yeah, he didn't plan for Old Bag to be the security guard. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Very well. We will call uh, the next witness. However, before we proceed, we shall take a ten minute recess. You would finally a recess. <laughs> I love it. It's been so long since we last had a recess. I know. I mean... How come in college they don't give us recess, man? Honestly, dude, it's so annoying. Oh, yeah. On Wednesday, dude, I'm, I pretty much have a, like, four or five hour recess. Like, I, my geology class got canceled on Wednesday, but I have a class, like, immediately after that. So there's no point mm -hmm. in, like, me going home. So Ooh. I will be uh, just sort of bumming around on campus from the hours of noon 45 till 4. <laughs> Actually, that's, awesome. that's not that long, but... Dude, there's, like, a Aiden has, like, a four-hour, like, block, or, like, between his classes on, like, Tuesday, Thursday. Yeah. And that four-hour block is the exact block that I have my classes. Oh. Like, we, per we, we perfectly interweaved oh. our classes into each other. Ouch, that's so that, like, rough. We're, like... You should go to class with you. <laughs> <laughs> True, we actually just sign up, dude. You can go and prepare. I mean, you should just sit in on your lectures yeah. and you sit in on his lectures, even though you don't need to be there. Yeah, why not, right? I had yeah, such a true. weird interaction today. Like, I, I was let out early for one of my classes, and I have one immediately afterwards, so I just, like, didn't know what to do with myself for half an hour. Yeah. So I just sort of went to an adjacent classroom uh, that was empty and just hung out. And then a guy yeah. came in, he's like, oh, hey, who are you? What are you doing here? I'm like, oh, sorry. I was just waiting for my next class. Uh, just bumming around a little bit till somebody showed up, then I'd leave. He's like, oh, what's your major? I'm like, uh, computer science. And he's like, well, if you're interested in construction, stick around. <laughs> what? <laughs> he had a backpack and, like, was a student, I think. Maybe a teacher. Well, maybe it was a teacher that had a backpack. No, he, I, because he put his stuff down on a student's desk. Oh, not on, not where the teacher would go, and he was a relatively young-looking dude. But like, he talked to me as if what I just said to him meant, "Oh, I'm here to observe you and whatever you're about to do." <laughs> what? <laughs> I was so befuddled, and then he left the room, and I walked out quickly after him, and he was gone. 
That's <laughs> I really don't know funny. where he went. I was gonna say, what, I mean, he might have been like a TA or something. I don't know. Uh, maybe he was uh, like. Dude, that was just a random event. There, there was a sign outside the door saying classroom closed from four to six, and like I assume he was in there. Like maybe he wasn't a student. He was like that was a tool bag for some. He was fixing the lights or something. That's my guess. But like, what? What are you talking? About? Dude, that's just that's one that's one of the random events that can happen there. I, yeah, I, I just, missed a flag for a fucking side quest or something. Honestly, <laughs> it's like the. I remember one time we were on a uh, cruise. Like, uh, there was like some guy that like came up to like. Or no, or no. Oh, Mar Martin, was it the one that me you and Aiden were on, or was it the one I'm trying to? I, it, talk? you know, I remember there being a random event. I think on where, the one we went on. There was one where there was like a guy that just like walked up to like I forget who like what subset of us it was, <laughs> but uh, like he walked up and was like, "Hey, have you guys seen those kids? Have you guys seen a group of kids around that were like that were doing stuff they weren't supposed to be doing?" Yeah, they were inside the like clubhouse area and they broke the lights. They were standing on tables. And they like broke the lights, <laughs> and were looking for them. Have you guys seen them? <laughs> like, like, just, like, he, that was he, his he, side quest, dude. He literally just like probably like, just showed up out of nowhere and dropped a side quest on us. And like, I, I think Jonah did act did had actually like seen them or something. Uh, but like they were already long gone by the time. That, like, Granted, I want to now go up to random people on campus and drop them rare various side quests. Yeah. Hey man, you like construction? Stick Hello. around. Hello, I am missing my five rubber ducks. You can find them all around the math building. I'll award you with ten gold pieces and a secret <laughs> recipe for my grandfather's meatloaf. <laughs> Dude, the dude, the grandfather's meatloaf like item is just like the best healing thing in the game. Like honestly, like dude, if you if you if you complete that construction side quest, dude, it's like so worth it. You get like a uh, big daddy's mega hammer that does like crazy strength based <laughs> damage. Dude, it's on like it's awesome. It's you need awesome. it for the old bag fight. You do. You need it for the old bag fight. Otherwise, it's like literally impossible. I love Earthbound. <laughs> Court will now take a 10 minute recess. I love recess. Recess is my favorite part of my class of the day. It's so awesome. It's almost as cool as lunch. This cool. lunch is like I long recess, but you get to eat. It's so cool. I love I do. Oh my god, there's so much fun. Mr. Edgeworth never wants to trade Pokemon cards with me. <laughs> I remember one time, one person he actually tried to trade. He actually traded with them, but then he made it such a good deal for himself. The other person got really angry. <laughs> and then they like totally tried to punch Mr. Edgeworth, and then we, it's the only time we've ever had to kick someone out of the Mr. Edgeworth guys. <laughs> <laughs> and then after that, the teachers banned trading Pokemon cards. <laughs> like what the hell? The judge is like so mean about it now. <laughs> and then he also is taking away our backup guns, even though that's not even the same thing. Doesn't make any sense. They're not even remotely similar. It's so stupid. Cards are not balls. <laughs> Dude, I can't believe that Adrian. Like, no way. Not cool and collected, Mom Andrews. <laughs> I mean, Adrian Andrews. What'd I say? Cool and collected, Mom Andrews. I still love this shirt. <laughs> Bro, this is literally Matthew Patrick. <laughs> I can't do game three, boys. I can't do it. <laughs> Hello, internet, and welcome to <sighs> Gay Theory. Today, I guess Phoenix gay right theory. gay for Edgeworth? <laughs> <laughs> Look, if you're playing a lawyer game, I have to ask for the supporting evidence, to which there is none. It is all circumstantial and biased <laughs> and should be thrown unnecessary out. Feel unnecessary feelings walks in the door. Edgeworth when Goonworth shows up. <laughs> no, <laughs> bro, is that is that real? Real? I can't it's spoil real. it, but let's just say Investigations Two is there's a reason that's so important. Okay. Um, or. I mean, someone that's not me, right? 
it's a question of will Pearl show up or is it Mia? Whoa. Oh, I think it's still Mia. Last last we saw it was Mia, so we'll, we'll operate under that assumption. And if it's not Mia Martin, I'll take him. Okay. Well, she's your manager. It would have been very easy for her to pull this off. The only person who had easy access to your knife and used it at dinner was, well, her. So after the ceremony during the break, huh? Heh, <laughs> it's a good face. <laughs> I was sleeping like a log the entire time. See, she could have also easily planted that blood-covered button in your combat. Dude, what if she, like, crawled inside him like a FNAF animatronic and then controlled him and started <laughs> it like that? Whoa. Because it's Matt Pat. Because it's Matthew it's Matt Patrick. Pat. That makes sense. Matt Pat, so it has to be related oh. to FNAF, dude. The bears! Freddy the bear? Freddy's bear. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> we fucking cracked the case. Dude. Dude, did you know Ace Attorney? How, how does it feel that your favorite case in the entire series, Adam, is the FNAF case? Great. Fucking fantastic. Oh, because she was the one that came to wake me up. Just like my mom. What did I say? <laughs> Wait, then... <laughs> dude, you're saying it really was her? Yes, she's the real killer. She's the one who wanted to murder Juan, Juan correct? But, but why? I thought she was buzzed with Juan. Well, she has her own agenda. Her yeah, own agenda? Their agendas. What, what are you talking about? I'm sure you'll see that by the time this trial is over. Also, he's really pursuing the Adrian Andrews angle. All right. Yeah. <sighs> It'll be all right. I'll get you acquitted by the end of today. Give me a verdict. Bro, all I gotta say is that D Killer is innocent. D Killer would do killer that. Yeah, that. D Killer would never do this. Get me a verdict that's refreshing like a spring breeze, okay, Mr. Lawyer Dude? Phoenix. Uh, you think her motive is related to Celeste Impact's missing suicide note, right? Yes. Miss Andrews depended on Miss Impacts as her strength and reason to live. <laughs> <laughs> to at least give us a fucking gently open the door before you just pull that shit. Yeah, seriously, it's a fucked up game. Dan. Yeah, Dan. Awesome. Whoa. But then Miss Impact suddenly killed herself. It sounds like she left a suicide note, and the person thought to have hidden it. Is Juan Correa the victim of the murder? This murder. And that's why I think Miss Andrews got close to Miss Juan Correa. Hmm. Alright. All to get that suicide note back. It sounds plausible. But one thing bothers me. Uh, what? Uh, who was it that first told us about their relationship? better stated uh, Miss Andrews' dependency issues with regards to Miss Impacts. It was Edgeworth. Uh, it looks like he's still the one in command of this ship. Don't let your guard down yet. So come aboard! <laughs> oh, oh, your hopes and dreams. Together we will find everything that we're looking for. Dude, what if there was one Karita? There's like so there's like crossover One Piece episodes. Like there's one where Goku, Luffy, and Toriko all land on the same island, and they're like, "Oh, Goku, what are you Luffy. doing here? <laughs> Luffy, what are you doing here? Let's have a race." And then they race. Uh, that's the crossover episode. There should be one of those, but it's Ace Attorney. I agree. You know, I'm not... I feel like, uh, as someone who's seen an even amount of Dragon Ball and One Piece, aka practically none, wouldn't Goku... I feel like he'd be faster than Luffy, just kind of putting that out there. I feel like a Super Saiyan would be faster than lanky Monkey D. Luffy. Uh... I don't, uh, I don't deny that, but uh, also at the same time, it depends on how you're comparing their power systems, and like, if hockey, like, if, if his hockey still just works on, like, Goku, 
and like you can just like win like yeah it also i guess depends on what time the crossover happens true right, who, who is toriko also hi crash crashed. it's been a bit <laughs> Uh, Toriko is <laughs> okay. Crash is right. Toriko does solo. Uh, he's just a different like Shonen Jump guy. But it's about a guy that goes around and eats stuff. No, oh, and... but that's Luffy. True. He they becomes... all love to eat. That's their one yeah. point of bonding. True. That is that is their all one point of bonding. But Toriko, so Goku becomes a Super Saiyan. Uh, Luffy becomes rubber. And Toriko becomes like a gay rainbow vampire. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I kid you not. Uh, Court will now reconvene. Uh, now that Mr. Edgeworth. Uh, now then, Mr. Edgeworth, if you please. Well, Crash is Crash. Nothing more, nothing less. No. Yeah. He's our True. resident E. E. Ked. <laughs> And, uh, Clavicle Enjoyer. The prosecution calls the witness subpoenaed by the court. Miss Adrian Andrews discovered the quiet crime in Juan Carida's room. I said Clavicle, I meant Collarbone, sorry. <laughs> clavicle. Clavicle. Anyway, what is your occupation? Um, today's the Martin episode. <laughs> Happy Martin Day, everybody. September 11th will be forever known as Martin no! Day. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> um, I am the manager of the defendant in this case, Mr. Matt Ongar. Sorry, I was beckoned. Uh, I see, now that... Before we begin, Your Honor, I have one request. Uh, uh, yeah, sure, what is it? I'm sure everyone in this room is wondering the same thing. Yes, I am, uh, I'm really wondering that thing, yes. Yes, uh, whatever it is, I'm wondering it, pretty lady. Your voice is so <laughs> sexy. <laughs> I feel like the crowd in this room is perhaps uh, captivated by my sultry uh, whispers. Oh, absolutely. And I might... It's good that I've described it better. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, please. Keep talking, please. Please. <laughs> <laughs> no matter what character I am, it's always the... Well, I would love to find out more about my relationship with the victim. It's just, it's so that Ivan and I can vent our real feelings about you, Martin, through the guys of the <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth guys. <laughs> After all, it was the topic of a certain magazine recently. I would like to see her in some magazines, if you know what I mean. <laughs> High five. Thank you. Oh, that was a good one. <laughs> Do I find... Oh, <laughs> <coughs> uh, uh, no. Uh, I have no idea what you mean. I've never even heard of Gossip Lane. And if the judge was ever a prosecution witness, he'd do all my work for me. Anyway, I was wondering if you could please tell us about your relation to the victim. Uh, yes. I was seeing Mr. Karina. I was also aware of the rivalry that existed between Matt and Juan. But now your boyfriend's dead, so you're free! Oh my god, that is so true. You are very much right. I'm going to ask for her phone number after the trial. I think you could do it. But this was a private matter between Juan and myself. Apparently the bitch tried to kill herself, and I'd like to damage goods. <laughs> Oh, that's a very good idea. I very much do agree. <laughs> Wait, you told them? <laughs> oh, shit. No. 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 <laughs> oh, shit. That's not good. That may have been one of the worst things I've ever said. <laughs> oh, that's fucked up. 
That's a real fucked That's up. That's real fucked up. Oh well, we'll move on. So it was a fry and bait matter, or was it a bait and fry? Reminds me of fish. <laughs> but I, I, I didn't kill. That's what they no, all it's... say. I think there's someone who would beg to differ. Jojo for pedophiles is redundant. Boom, roasted. <laughs> Bro, I like, I heard, I heard JoJo, but like it didn't register as Jo. I was just thinking of Jaden's. I thought you were talking about Jaden's dad. No, <laughs> you're, you're really no, confused. no. That would be <laughs> no, the worst just... thing I've ever said on stream. No, because <laughs> I, I, I've, uh, I've like only, I've only had that referred to him for like in my mind for a really long time. So, like... what is the worst thing I've ever said? It's a question I don't really want the answer to, but. <laughs> we should start keeping a list. No. We should. <laughs> I keep a tier list of like worst <laughs> statements. Worst statement tier list. Which one is the worst? I, I can't whoever be the winning most, the worst. Whoever thing. gets I was gonna say whoever gets the most points of the year gets a promotion. <laughs> <laughs> you win the, the grand wizard. <laughs> <laughs> there's one, there's Martin's, there's one for him. Uh, there's mine. The account rotates between all three of us. <laughs> yeah, it kind of does anyway. I don't really like streaming without you guys. <laughs> oh, God. I think we we all understand your relationship with the victim now, Miss Andrews. Very well then. Witness, please testify to the court. I'm going to tattletale on myself here. I think one of them... Uh, one of the worst things, at least out of context, is my synopsis of one of the things that happened in Steins Gate Zero, where the van pulled up and kidnapped somebody right when they were about to say <laughs> something important. Which is the, oh, okay, I really have to tell you that <laughs> black people, that that one's not great. <laughs> they were wearing black, whatever. They Wave to a random cosplayer. Black. No, that wasn't a random cosplayer. That was the real Princess Erica from Fire Emblem 8, the Sacred Stones, come to life waving at me specifically. Also, Even they... though I tried to bring her out in the line later and we could not find her. So for all we know, Adam was hallucinating and it was a confused You saw her! <laughs> you no, we made... didn't! You couldn't have made fun of me if you didn't also see that. <laughs> well, they, they, well, could see I... you, they could see you do something that doesn't mean they saw the other end of that imaginary something that you did crash sar he did or else how would he know to make fun of me because he saw you waving at no one no yeah. <laughs> dude crash never say her Never say never. Uh, how I don't, does, I don't know how did he know it was a cosplayer and a woman? Because you told you told us who it was. You told us. I didn't know such thing. Yeah, I don't know what the worst thing I've said is. Uh, we, there was a close call there when reading that one four chan. There was a, there was a really close that was a dead call. Stop. That, that that was frame that was like frame perfect, dude. I I I I've, I dodged that one. I realize this is a serious answer to a stupid question, but probably just any time the word retarded has been said. But I've done that too. <laughs> Even then, I feel like there are ways to say worse things than just saying a word that's offensive. You know? Yeah. No. For, I feel like, like the true. like the shit I just I'm said about fire. Adrian Andrews is probably worse than saying retarded. Yeah. <laughs> I did no such thing. I haven't cried since. Yeah, I don't remember. Bubbly. Yeah, thank you. Exactly. Spread the word to end the word. That's right. About what happened when you discovered the murder that had taken place. I don't know why that sentence cut off like halfway through the middle. <laughs> uh, because I, I was trying to move on. And the only well, that was very strange. Was well, that was very strange spacing of the game. Oh well, yeah. It was time for the show to start, so I went to get Matt from his room. Uh, the way Martin's playing her, yeah. <laughs> After that, I went to Juan's room. 
and there was his dead body. I, I was in shock. What I saw was naturally the exact same scene, crime scene photo. I felt as though I was about to faint. I poured myself a glass of juice. Oh, I see somebody uh -huh. bruised, bloody, and battered. Let me pour myself a nice, refreshing glass of tomato juice to get my mind <laughs> off all this blood and gore. <laughs> uh, you poured yourself a glass of juice? Yes. Sadly, I don't remember not to touch things at the scene of a crime. And I disturbed the crime scene by moving this one thing. And that is when the fingerprints on the wine glass were made, Your Honor. I see. Why'd you scroll over the tomato juice like that? Well, I just wanted to see this? if there were fingerprints on it. There aren't any. That's what I was checking, but there are. I bears. don't see any. I don't see them. There are bears <laughs> on the glass, clearly. There's no bears on the glass. Dude, there's so many bears in that glass. I haven't seen any yet. Stop making me feel stupid for not seeing them. Dude, that, that glass is full of bears. You need to, like, just open your eyes. Open your eyes. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, Phoenix. Uh, she is one cool and collected customer, and she has the brains to match. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Yeah, I can shake that up. <laughs> Whoa, that was. Listen, are you implying that only, that only dumb people kill themselves? <laughs> no. <laughs> what? No. No, I'm. I'm, impl I'm implying I can. Uh, I can rock her world. This one. <laughs> I wish I could rock her world. <laughs> <laughs> Lay up. That is, that is so true. You need to keep talking. Around. You can do it. I pump you up. You can do this. Thank you. I thought there would be this whole heated rivalry, but I guess it's just me who thinks this way. <laughs> no, please. When one of us wins, we all win. It's as simple as that. You're right. If she's dating me, she's dating all of us. That's right. That is so true. I don't think that's how it works. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth said it's not how it works. I mean, it must work some other way. It must so work sort of doubly like, good. <laughs> What sort of polyamorous cult has been cultivated while I've been gone? <laughs> no, it's not polyamorous. It's, uh, we are, uh, We are. We are. We are. Uh, in order to catch a person like her, you have to avoid head-on confrontations. Oh, yeah. Lie gay wo I lie rain wo ba wang dai wo zo chu je gi mi gong gay wo wo ying de de ni qian wo dai wo dai. Disruptor pacing. She's the type of woman who's easily thrown off by things and consistent with her thinking. And you like, said the way I'm playing. Uh, you said I'm making this up, and the, the way I'm playing her. No, you're right. You're right. Uh, so you have to attack when she least expects it. Dude, I bet she's not expecting me to about to throw her suicide note all over everybody. Also, careful, Crash. Mia's is technically possessing the body of an eight-year-old girl. True. Oh, okay, he was talking about now. how great Toriko was earlier, so it shouldn't surprise us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm quick on the draw, huh? Ain't that the truth? Uh, the instant you let up. Sorry. Uh, your office offense. The instant this trial offense. The instant is is the instant this trial is over. Understood. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> I'm curious about the juice. We can ask about the juice. Hold it. Juice. <laughs> yes. There was a bottle of tomato juice on the table, so I helped myself. But you didn't drink any of it, did you? Uh -huh. There were no lip marks left on this wine glass to suggest that anyone drank from it, and if there were, I would not let the Edgeworth guys touch it. <laughs> <laughs> I... I wasn't feeling terribly great, so I set the glass down without drinking it. It doesn't sound like there's any glaring contradictions in her testimony just now. 
I warned you earlier that she would not crack so easily. The only way to make her in, uh, make her, is to... Keep on the offensive and not let up. Uh, the only way you're going to catch her is with some very strong, decisive evidence. I have to find something. I just have to. For Maya's sake. Uh, just press around, can we, I guess? Can we press... Yeah, I should probably press this. I'll suggest... Like, Hold this. it. And what was Mr. Rungard doing at the time? He was taking a nap. He was worn out from his many performances as the Nickel Samurai during the ceremony. That's pathetic. <laughs> Being a children's entertainer is a hard these days. And <laughs> having the brain of a child makes you take naps all the time, I guess. It was nap time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Might I ask, Mrs. Andrews, how old? Often does this man nap, and are you the scheduler of said naps? Well, if we look here in my notes, he actually has oh scheduled God. nap times. Um, normally they're once every day from 4 to 6 p.m. However, uh, we do have a bi-weekly extra nap time in case he's feeling a little extra sleepy weepy. I apologize. Whose idea was this? <laughs> was it your it idea was... or his idea? He was the one that asked me if we could have nap time. <laughs> okay. That marks the first Learned independent it, okay. thought of Matt Ungard, so congratulations. Second, this whole arrangement. You understand how weird it is, right? Oh, yes, 100%. You do? I mean, I'm the one who chose to let the iPad take care of him. <laughs> <laughs> right, but you understand that you're not his mother, right? No. I'm sorry, this is irrelevant. I'm going to ask more case-relevant questions. This whole thing just confuses me, you understand? And he's my client, so I kind of have to know. Uh, later. I'll ask you <laughs> later. Unless I convict you of murder, which I'm trying to do. Anyway, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm getting rattled. Uh, then I guess you could say it could not have been taken out of his room, yes? Excuse me? It. What are you... Right. I thought that years of school would have taught you how to construct a sentence. Meme line. If you can't make a sensible sentence with a subject, then I'll make one for you. Watch. Did you, Miss Andrews, remove Master On God's knife from his room? No. Uh, here it is. Subject, verb, object, right? Did you skip <laughs> basic grammar? <laughs> the witness may continue. Okay, this isn't a meme line, but I really like it. <laughs> that was pretty hard. Hold it. And why did you do that? As a friendly gesture, Juan was to make an appearance with the other heroes. So the show was supposed to be a show of friendship, huh? Yeah, let's press farther. Is that the only reason? I beg your pardon? Um, what are you implying? You had a certain goal in mind when you started to get close to him, correct? So perhaps you had a more personal matter to discuss with the victim. Mm, sorry, but I didn't have such intentions in mind at the time. I can't get her to talk without a strong piece of evidence, I guess. May we continue now? Witness, what did you see when he got up to his room? Hold it. You were in shock? You were shook, as it were? <laughs> what? Was she I was hit with a 4 million volt taser. Was I not supposed to be hit with a 4 million volt taser, metaphorically? Uh, stop saying that. It, ugh, it makes my muscles twitch. <laughs> but Miss Andrews is a very calculating person. And despite how close they were, I doubt she had romantic feelings for Mr. Corita. Anyone randomly stumbling upon a dead body would be in shock. And you can't seriously <sighs> expect that a young beauty like her would not be shocked. <laughs> Exhibit A, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> of the Edgeworth is Not Gay Chronicles. How do you know I didn't put air quotes there? I don't know. Who, who like, what, what kind of straight man calls her a young beauty? Oh, uh, pompous ass. And what do you mean? <laughs> uh, fucking gay people say, like, go queen, slay, you're beautiful, oh my god, <laughs> all the time. I wasn't expecting arguments from my co counsel <laughs> Thought you were on my team here. Why would we ever? <laughs> Please, it's Mr. Edgeworth, dude. There's like only like 
one possible like way you can look at him. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we agree, but I agree. <laughs> so somehow I don't think beauty has anything to do with being shocked or not. I see. No. <laughs> Mrs. Andrews, I would like to confirm with you one more time. When you discovered the dead body of Juan Carita, you were in great shock. And that's when you poured yourself the gas of, the glass of juice, correct? Food and juice, gas. Glass of juice is dangerously close to another sentence. Mm. Whatever are you referring to? <laughs> I don't want to be. I don't want to get that close to the edge. You're telling me a step away. I'm gonna. Line. Okay. I. I. I made. I. I. Have some neurons fired in my brain. So you got, I got it. An idea. I think I've got it. Okay. <laughs> I haven't thought about that sucker since, like, middle school, though. It was, like, an old, old, like, impact font meme I read once. <laughs> it was an accident! It was misinput. <laughs> um, I already said this line. Um, so, my apologies. Um, my mind was really a complete blank at the time. Mine was a complete blank. I didn't think that was possible for you. Well, aren't you rude today? I was so dazed that I made one careless mistake. That one thing. What one thing? Um, never mind. It's no big deal. What was she starting to say just now? I'll circle back. I if fucking I don't hate you. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were over that. <laughs> Well, probably doesn't have anything to do with the case, so. <laughs> <laughs> Me. <laughs> Stop right there. You finally got her to open her mouth on this one, and you're going to let it go? Now is the time to get as much out of her as we can. Uh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> what? Oh, what? wow. No, the game just straight up tells you, no, you're not getting this one wrong. <laughs> This is Andrews. I, <laughs> no one ever thought you'd fucking do that, I guess. I'm convinced <laughs> that, as you said, you made a mistake at the scene of the crime. What I really want to know is what this mistake was. Hmm. Actually, so would I. Uh, I'm so sorry. It just kind of... It's, it's kind of embarrassing. When I... When I set the glass down on the dresser... I accidentally knocked over the flower vase. <laughs> so she's a ditz too? Awesome. Oh wow, you're so true. Oh my god. Flower vase. Uh, are you the one about... Uh, you're talking about the one on the floor in the crime photo? Uh, the semester of class charge. It was originally on top of the dresser, but then I knocked it over and it fell down. <laughs> oh shit, really? <laughs> shit, really? Shit, really? When I bumped into it with my elbow, it fell onto the guitar case. Oh, wow. But why did you withhold such important piece of information? <laughs> I I'm sorry, I, I thought that since the crime scene was already in disarray, that people would simply assume the vase was just another part of the mess. It looks like yet another fact has come to light here. Please add this and anything else you have to reveal to your testimony. She can reveal a whole lot. <laughs> 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 this is so true. I I'm sorry, but I, I have nothing more to add. I, I didn't touch anything else. Yeah, did you? Oh, yeah, good point. Oh, really? Hold it. What kind of flower vase was it? <laughs> it was a glass vase, and it was fairly big and heavy. I thought I would try to take Juan's pulse, so I set the glass when holding down. I was holding down on the dresser. 
And that's when my elbow accidentally hit the vase. That's odd. Master was always in total control of herself. <laughs> uh, that's what she would like people to think. Always be mindful of the gap between your perception and reality. Whoa. That's Whoa. A, it's like Persona. No! <laughs> <laughs> okay, what do we got flower vase for later? To the guitar. Oh, some water on it. It's true. And then, oh, where's the... Also, it has what? It? Fingerprints. Oh, it's a crime scene. Oh, there's the crime scene photo. Okay. But what about those makeup bottles? <laughs> <laughs> well, the crime scene was already in disarray, so the makeup bottles are counted for. So that was, like, during the struggle. So the, the murder uh... of Juan Carita. Also, that tomato juice bottle looks suspiciously full for being ha having filled a wine glass before. <laughs> uh, and guess. it is just a realistic PNG of a tomato. HD True, texture awesome. pack, baby. My, uh, my bet's gonna be something to do with something being funky with however, like, the shards are with the guitar case and it's open and whatever. Can we, like, present that photo here or something? Uh, yeah, I think. It's, yeah, hold on. Just... Living on edge. Living on the edge. Living on the edge for photo, right? Yep. Objection. Oh, okay, two correct answers. Awesome. You testified that you knocked the flower vase over. Is this correct? Yes. And are you sure it fell onto the guitar case? <laughs> huh? <laughs> that was that was me yawning, but it kind of like, uh got combined into a startup noise now i don't know what it was <laughs> miss andrews powered on <laughs> <laughs> Boom. It, it, is there some problem with what i said it's not some problem it's a major problem it's true that the top of the guitar case was wet with water however that's exactly what's so strange miss andrews you testified that the face fell onto the guitar case however if that was true, then the case should have gotten wet on the inside, not the outside. I'll get her case wet on the inside. That's very true. Further it's classic right. judge quote. Oh, <laughs> classic. It's his catchphrase. It's his catchphrase. Furthermore, there's one other strange thing about this guitar case. Um, what's that? Let's take another look at the crime scene photo. The remains of the vase are scattered onto the floor. And what's wrong with that? If the guitar case was open when the vase fell, the glass shard should be inside, not outside the case. Well, what's your point, right? That the case was closed at the time the vase knocked over? Also very funny phrasing. Is that all? Objection. No. Think back to what Miss Andrews testified to. She said that other than the vase, she didn't touch anything else. I guess that is right. She didn't implicitly say she didn't touch the guitar case. But, but this whole manor with the guitar case is a dead end. The bright red guitar was found at the studio. It has no bearing on this case at all. <laughs> that may very well be. However, the empty guitar case does seem to have no relation to this case, doesn't it? It's a case, and therefore it is relevant to this case. I'm not a case lawyer, I'm a statue lawyer. So this may be out of my depth, but my life is at stake. I have to venture out of my comfort zone. Um, my technicality, if every case has a statute of limitations, doesn't that mean you could take on any case? That is correct, and that's why I've been privy to so many well, cases not directly I... involving statues. That's the thing, though, is that it's like when there's a statue of limitations already, it's like this case hasn't been decided yet, so it's not like the statue of limitations has been... That's true. ...like, instituted yet, so... Ooh, there's a statue will come into play at some point. Yeah, it play. has to. <laughs> yeah. It has to. Uh, it seems that there is no deeper meaning to the guitar case. <laughs> subject, object, er, subject, verb, object, object strummer. <laughs> Did you take basic <laughs> grammar? <laughs> That's a, it's a good line. 
Uh, circle back to it. Yeah, let's let her be. She's dealt with enough. She's gone through enough, all right? Honestly. Well, the case was empty, and I think that's all we really need to know. I see. <laughs> Wait, Phoenix, don't you remember what I told you earlier? At this you point, will I'm doing not it. answer the game wrong. <laughs> At this point, I'm just trying to piss you off, man. <laughs> What's important here is that you disrupt her pacing. You have to attack her when she's not expecting it. That's right. Hold she it. tried to kill herself. Actually, Your Honor, I've changed my mind. I'd like her to testify about the case. What? Why are you changing your mind now? Well, it looks like I disrupted the judge's pacing. Now comes the real deal. Ooh. The empty guitar case. I believe this is a crucial piece of the puzzle. <laughs> I can't believe anyone would reach for straws like this, but it is you. That's just mean. <laughs> Look, I can't believe I'm doing this either. Alright, I'll follow along for now. Miss Andrews, please testify to the court about this guitar case. Yes, Your Honor. Can we, uh, can we, can we put a pause on it here so I can get ready for bed to get up tomorrow? Oh, yeah, true. Oh, we're running out of big time saves. Uh -oh. oh wait, uh -oh. what? Is this is this one important too? Well, did we did we like accidentally save or something or like something happened? The one piece of evidence. <laughs> I I don't know why this is here. That's the one piece save. Is this is this something? Yeah, I don't Sorry think. Sorry for party rocking. <laughs> Sorry for party rocking. Interesting. Anywho. Elihu? Fuck, who is Elihu? Hold on. Yodelihu. Elihu is someone. Elihu. Yeah, a shorter one today, but a good one nonetheless. True. It is on I mean, at least we very... got one in this week. Yeah, for sure. It is the very, uh, what's it called? Uh, very somber day of 9-11. Oh, yeah. And Elihu is one of the three friends who talks to Job in the Book of Job. That's uh, what it is. So. Anyway, in observance of this tragic holiday, we will be ending the stream before it reaches the two-hour mark. Um... I should not be joking about we'll this. End it on the eleventh hour. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, Sunday still good uh, for now. Got... For now. Yeah, this upcoming Sunday should be fine for me. I don't have work that following Monday. Oh yeah, this like, hype. It's my last week of full time work at least. So, yeah. So as me not wishing to interfere with that, we'll, we'll call it. Oh, man. <laughs> I got roughed up today. I've just been... Ah, no break. No break at all. But this was super, super fun. I, I, I'm appreciating this time that we have together a lot more now. <laughs> <laughs> uh. But yeah, good night. I don't have much in the way of, of news. Oh shit, yeah. I'm so hold on, hold on. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, there we go. Don't think oh, I Yeah, forgot. we don't we don't need any we don't need anyone crying today, but Yeah. The greatest tragedy of all would have been if I didn't at least show a little bit of the blue badger video. True. We gotta, we gotta at least view it. Even if but a bit. Yeah. God, I love this case so much. <laughs> Rise from the ashes and uh, farewell, my turnabout. Which I think Rise from the Ashes is the only case to not have the word turnabout in it. Which is weird. Rise from the ashes. Well, you see.
because like rise is kind of like turnabout. Explain. It's because like Phoenix. Uh, turnabout <laughs> is to go from one direction to another, and to rise is to go from like was to go from like kind of like rise from the ashes, as in like a phoenix, as in going from death to life. Kind of going from one direction to another, one place to another. It's a reversal of that uh, state, so... Oh, look, Ma, that's me. There you go. <laughs> okay. That, it's like a C-, minus, I guess. Hey, that shit, that shit is... That, that shit is passing as fuck. Alright. Good night, everybody. Have a good night. See you next week. See you next week.